Alright, this is a video about traversals. There's pre-order, in-order, and post-order traversals which we're going to go over. And we're going to deal with them in the context of a binary search tree. This is a binary search tree. We know this because if you, as you move down, if you move to the left, you go down in value. If you move to the right, you go up in value. So greater than uh, 8 is 12, less than 12 is 11, greater than 12 is 13, etc. So this is a binary search tree, and we're going to be talking about the traversal of a binary search tree. First we're going to talk about just the traversal in general, and then we'll get into the three types of traversals, and we'll actually traverse in each of those ways. Um, let us see. We want a thick brush. Maybe this is a thick brush. Okay, what color do we want? Dark. Let's do purple. It always is going to start at the top of the root. Top of the root, and then we're going to just pass along the side of it as close as we can. We're not really paying attention to anything. As we pass, we're just drawing the line. We're not going to cross anything. We're just going to stay close to the circles and close to the lines. And this is a traversal, the order of the order of the traversal, the path of the traversal. So it's an exciting time traversing a binary search tree. I hope you're enjoying yourself as much as I am. I think this thing fades out. It's an interesting paint tool. Continue to traverse it. Again, just staying snug to it, we're traversing it in what is this? A counterclockwise direction. This is going to give us the foundation for for the rest of what we do. So this may be boring at the moment, but you definitely need to uh, not forget that you are hugging everything along the way. If you there's shortcuts that you can take when you get used to it, but if you're not used to it, it might be in your best interest to go slowly so you don't miss questions. Uh, we'll, we'll draw a little arrow too, just so we can remember which direction we're going. Big arrow. Oh, size. Big. That way we're going. And that way we're coming from. Again, we're going to start at the top here. This is the starting point. We'll do that in black. Start here and finish here, but going this way. So that is a traversal. So what is the difference between these three then? They all use the same traversal path. The difference is that I've, I've drawn little marks on them where they are on each, each point, but the yellow indicates the pre-order, whatever this is, maroon is the in order, and the blue is the post order. So you travel the traversal path and then once you pass whatever color it is that you're doing, you add it that is the the point that it is that it gets added. So let's start with the pre order. The pre order immediately we hit this eight. So the eight is first. Then we continue the traversal and this yellow is hit, we hit the five. So five and then we continue on the traversal and we hit the three and then we continue along the traversal we ignore these these colors don't matter because we're not doing that the six we hit we continue along the path hit nothing that blue doesn't matter the maroon the twelve and we continue eleven So we hit the 11, keep going, keep going, these don't matter, don't matter, 13. And then that should be it, but we'll go all the way to the end, no more yellows. So that's a pre-order tra traversal. Next we will do the uh, in-order traversal. And again we're going to do the same traversal, we're just going to be looking for the maroon colored ones. And we don't hit, that yellow doesn't matter, that yellow doesn't matter, that yellow doesn't matter. 
This three is the first, the, the maroon of the three is the first one that matters. So our in order is three. And then we continue up the traversal path, we hit the maroon five. Five, then we continue, we hit the maroon six. Hey, we hit maroon five, nice. Uh, that's like the band. Six, then we keep going. We hit the eight, the eight maroon. We keep going. We hit the 11 maroon. Keep going. We hit the 12 maroon. Keep going. We hit the 13 maroon. And then I think that's going to be it. We can keep going looking for maroons and we get to the end and we don't. So that is the in order traversal. Post order traversal is the same except we're looking for the blue. We start up here so we don't see the eight, the eight blue until the end. But let's start. Keep going, no blues, no blues, no blues, no blues. The first blue we see is this three. So three. We keep going, go around, don't see any blues. We get a six. Six. Next, we get to the five. Keep going, no blues, no blues, no blues, no blues. There's a blue, 11. Keep going, no blues, no blues. Next, we have 13. Keep going, we have 12. And then keep going, can't forget the eight at the end. So that is that is the traversal. That is the pre-order traversal. That's the in-order traversal and the post-order traversal. And you should note that the in-order traversal of a binary search tree, this is a binary search tree. Notice that the in-order traversal is in order, 3, 5, 6, 8, 11, 12, 13. So if you do an in order traversal of a binary search tree, you'll get the numbers in order. Any questions, let me know. Be well.